what's up guys um it's been a while since i've done any kind of video to be honest um fishing trips and and uh, things kind of tapered off work got busy um life caught up uh yet once again so <sighs> so this video is uh just catch up on sarah and what's going on with sarah so um back at the um I can't remember exactly, maybe November, December-ish. Um, we had some scans done, some checkup scans. We were watching another tumor that Sarah had in her brain. Uh, and then fast forward to, I think, March. Uh, we did another scan in March. and It had grown significantly uh, to the point that uh, they 100% said, we have, to, we have to remove this. Um, so those of you who um, may not know, let me just a recap. So this is 2024. So in 2022, um, in August of 2022, she had a tumor removed from uh, the frontal area of her brain. Uh, very, very, very invasive surgery, uh, very traumatic. She developed meningitis. Uh, along with that, her mom also had surgery, two surgeries, one right before hers and one right after, suffered a stroke. And, uh, things just went crazy. Um, life was just flipped upside down for our family. Uh, it was pretty insane. Uh, pretty, pretty. I hate to call it a wild time, but it was a wild time. I hope the wind's not too bad. Um, I don't really have anywhere else I can do this that's not awkward. Um, but uh, some folks just wanted an update, and you know, just not enough time to make lots of phone calls to to do that. But anyway. Um, so fast forward, like I said, October, November, late last year, we did a scan. Said, hey, this thing's growing. Let's scan it again in March, and we'll keep watch on it. She tried to. Um, uh, it's uh, it's similar. It's like chemotherapy. She tried this this med um, that is approved for use against the tumors growing, and it didn't. Uh, she had some ill effects. It just it just didn't work. If anything, I actually think it made it worse. Um, but uh, you know that's that's neither here nor there. You know, maybe maybe it was maybe it did slow it down. Maybe it would have grown faster. Hard to really tell. Nobody knows. Um, but here we are. So you know Sarah's in college. Uh, she's been at uh, USM in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Um, this uh, upcoming year should have been her uh, senior year, but she's had to take time because of the surgeries and, and issues. She's had to take more time off. So, um, she's considered a senior right now, but she's actually got, um, two, like a year and a half left, uh, of college. She's doing good. She's been working. Uh, and then this hits again, which is heartbreaking. Uh, but, um, to catch anybody up that doesn't know her and her mom and, uh, her sister, Alana, um, they all three have a disease called von Hippel Lindau syndrome. V H L uh, V L V L H. <laughs> I always get that messed up. Von Hippel Lindau V L S. Um, either way, uh, they grow benign tumors most of the time, uh, just in very dangerous places, and that's kind of what's happened here. She's she has a tumor. The tumor itself isn't huge, but it's um, there's a cyst that's growing from it. Um, that's really causing the issues um, so yeah so I normally would have done this way ahead of time and, and she even asked me to because she she actually um, sorry about the wind if it's bothering the mic it you know it's hard for her to talk about it it's hard for her to tell people what's going on a lot of people ask a lot of questions and, and she's asked me to make this video um, actually well over a month ago uh, but I just I hadn't been able to uh, we we had a hard go uh, two years ago and this is almost like a PTSD type situation <laughs> it's like we're just rolling back into it uh, one part of it is uh, yep yeah, we're all stronger um, we're all stronger because we've been through it uh, but at the same time you know you don't you don't want to go through it again um, but today is uh, the final day. Her pre-op, all her pre-op stuff is done. The last thing to do now is um, talk to uh, 
admissions. I have no idea what that guy is saying, so sorry. <laughs> if he's saying something in some other language, I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, today is, um, sorry, tomorrow morning will be her surgery. We're waiting today to have the phone call to find out what time. So they're in there, they're in there prepping and packing uh, for the hospital stay. Should be, you know, roughly, they don't know for sure, obviously, no one ever knows, but um, should be like a five hour surgery everything goes good but they don't really know till they get in there how long it's gonna be um, so early in the morning we're gonna dive into the hospital and and um, you know get started so this is where we are no uh, no beautiful words of wisdom here other than you know we're just gonna keep swimming forward she's she's been really strong into this um, at the uh, you know obviously she was asked you know <laughs> did she want to do the surgery because the doctor was saying she needed to do the surgery and she was like yeah that that versus getting back on the meds the meds just didn't sit with her good at all um she had a lot of bad effects from it but she she was ready so um i'm really proud of my baby she's uh she's something else and you know, she's grown really strong since the last one and uh, she really seems to be going into this one just full head first and and it's gonna be okay you know and, you know lots of prayers and we you know we, we believe in God those of you who may not know we are we're a Christian family and uh, Sarah is a, a Bible believer and she believes in God taking care of us and God's hand on our life and uh, she's seen it she's watched it happen even though we've been through bad things um, you know we've watched it turn and unfold and turn into amazing things so you yeah. know but all right so where was I <laughs> we are a believing family and uh, uh, that was Mandy bringing something out to the patio we're a Bible believing family and we believe that God's hand is on our life and we believe that God's gonna take care of us and uh, so there we are Sarah Chapter two of her uh, von Hippel Lindau syndrome chapter, uh, a, a book story, however you want to see that, and uh, she's going into it strong and confident. And um, so, if you would um, be praying with us tomorrow, and uh, anybody I work with, you know, thank you guys. You've been amazing, uh, allowing me to be able to just let go of the wheel and walk away uh, once again. Uh, I hope and pray that this time is going to be a lot different than before, and. You know, say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning next week, uh, you know, things will be back in motion. They're talking about um, the doc, the surgeon, was like, you know, all goes well, two, three weeks, and she'll be fully recovered. So we're hoping to have her home uh, before next Tuesday uh, in her own bed. So been taking extra precautions. We've been quarantining. We've been, you know, sitting here at the house I haven't went, I haven't went into the office which we had a storm come through and messed our offices up so uh, there was that but yeah so if you will be praying with us tomorrow and appreciative of everything um, we don't need anything uh, Rob and Michelle uh, are our, our best friends or are, are uh, they're gonna get Trixie and take care of her for me while, over the weekend so I don't have to worry about that and I'll be bouncing back and forth. Mandy will stay at the hospital with Sarah. Yeah, just got a plan in order. We don't, we don't need anything but prayers. Um, just need our, our believers and uh, and our our closest to, uh, to really just put some thought and put some words to God to, to keep her safe. Uh, I know we can. So, all right. Well, there's our update. I wish this was something nice to talk about but it's it is what it is so god bless you and uh, appreciate everybody later